guys, it's Miss Devereaux and James, and we are ready to get started. Happy Wednesday! Get over to our poem. We had so much fun. We had so much fun this year. We had so much fun this year. Learning, sharing, growing, caring. We had so much fun this year. We sure did. All right, let's put our right hand over our heart and salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Good job. Let's say good morning to everyone. Good morning, Leah. Good morning, Noel. Good morning, Joella. Good morning, Vera. Good morning, Giada. Good morning, Gosta. Good morning, Landon. Good morning, Sam. Good morning, Legend, good morning, Elliot, good morning, Ash and Ellis, good morning, Camilla and Hudson, good morning, Maddie and Joseph, good morning, Giovanna, good morning, Paisley and Jacob, good morning, Colin, good morning, Lexi and Gracie, good morning, Mal, good morning, Mason and Maddox, good morning, Robbie and Samantha and Matthew and Bella and Finley, good morning, guys, all right, let's do it, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. You got it. Let's do our words. Oop, nothing on there. Oh, let's start with the hard one. I jump. We little me. You, dog, see, can, away, and come, help, cat, run, a look. Good job. Let's find out what we're going to do today. Dear Miss Devereaux's Monkeys, happy Wednesday. What does Wednesday start with? You got it, W. Today's letter is H. Happy Summer. S. What does it end with? Summer. -er. R. Birthday Hudson. Today we will review rhyming. We will rhyme with James. Let's have a great day. Love, Miss Devereaux. All right, let's check out these caterpillars in their chrysalises so I don't forget. You guys see? There you guys go. Yep, so they're still in there. Hmm, I wonder when they're going to hatch. I'm thinking maybe Friday. Maybe Friday. So they're still in there. They're hanging out. So we'll keep an eye on those guys. All right, and today's letter is H. The H says, the H says, every letter makes a sound. The H says, horse, happy, hippo, Henry, Hudson. Anybody else in our class start with H? 
Ha, 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 ha. Um, nope. Nope. None of our new friends. All right. So today is H. All right. Let's estimate. So what's in that jar? Right. All those little ocean animals. So let's see. Joella, 22. Landon, 20. Noel, 26. Elliot, 10. Oliver, 11. Colin, 15. Matthew, 15. Samantha, 13. Joseph, 14. Paisley, 13. Jacob, 15. Robbie, 14. Giada, 14. And Veer, 21. So we all chose small numbers today because these animals are kind of big and it was hard to fit too many in this jar. Ooh, I can't even get them all out. I squished them in there. All right. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven. There was only eleven. And I'm going to squish those out. I couldn't even fit them all back in there because I squished them in there yesterday. So 11, let's see who our winner is. Our winner is Oliver. Good job, Oliver. 11. So Oliver is our winner today. All right. I think that I put some of these in here in the beginning of our morning meetings. I'm going to put, I found these in my, uh, in my cabinet. Deborah's running out of things to put in this jar. So I'm going to put a whole bunch of marshmallows. And I'm going to give you a hint. It's going to be over 50. There's over 50. But under 100. Over 50. But under 100. So I want you to make your estimations. All right. Over 50 but under 100. So the anything in the 50s, the 60s, the 70s, the 80s, the 90s. Those should be your estimation guesses today. All right, I have to give a big shout out. Elliot, I am super proud of you. We learned a big word in the beginning of the year, and some of you might remember what we did. Hmm. Remember, we had that big package that was wrapped, and it was wrapped, I think there was like 12 wrapping papers on top of one another so there was a gift that was wrapped and then there was another gift that was then they had more wrapping paper on it and then more wrapping paper on it and then more wrapping paper on it and then more wrapping paper on it i think that mrs tilton's class did this as well and we had to keep taking that wrapping paper off and we kept saying you know what maybe we should just quit i don't want to do this anymore i'm tired and but did we quit nope we kept unwrapping the gift we kept unwrapping it. And does anybody remember what was inside when we were done? At the very end, we got lollipops. Mrs. Tilton's class, I'm not sure what you guys got, but we got lollipops and we learned a big word and it was persevere. And when I was in our classroom the other day, that word is still on our board. It is still up on our chalkboard. Persevere. Persevere means don't give up. Keep trying. It might be a little hard, you might not get it the first time, but keep trying. We had friends, uh, Joella, Landon, Sam. You guys got in the 100 Club back in September. Yeah, it was great. You guys did it. You counted. You got in. Elliot was having a little trouble with it. Vera was having a little trouble with it. But they kept working. And they didn't give up. And that is what is so important and something that all of you have learned in the last three months that you guys have persevered. There's kids that aren't doing anything, but you guys that come to morning meeting every week have not given up and you guys keep working hard every day. And I am so proud of you guys. And, and Elliot, you kept working and you kept trying and kept doing it over and over and over again. And you did it, you did it last night. I am so proud of you. I am proud of you and everyone else that showed up to morning meeting today. Keep going guys, all right? Got Miss Devereaux going this morning. All right, let's see how many more days we have. So, today is the third. Today our letter is H. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Five more morning.
in meetings and on the sixth day it's graduation and every one of you is getting graduation okay we are all having graduation on the 10th everybody has different times so we're not all going to graduate at the same time miss devro's class goes at 11 20. mrs tilton's class goes at a different time mrs grodak's class goes at a different time and mrs devito and mrs tarot's class goes at a second time another time but we are all going to be out there. I want you guys to decorate those cars, no matter whose class you're in. I want you to celebrate your graduate. I want you to celebrate your child. Um, we are gonna have, Mr. Matt's gonna be out there playing. We're gonna call your name. We're gonna hand you your diploma. We're gonna give you all of our stuff. You're gonna stay in your car as you parade around, but everybody is going to have a graduation parade. All four classes. Everybody gets one, all right? So go get that stuff. Sammy is super excited to decorate our car. So he's going to decorate his car. We're going to put stuff on it and we are going to celebrate his completion of pre-K. So everybody gets to have a car parade and everybody gets to have graduation. All right. All right. So let's. So in your journal today, you have to write, if you're in my class, you have to write happy birthday Hudson. And I want a picture of Hudson in there. H is for Hudson. Happy birthday Hudson. If you are not in my class, you can make three pictures. H is for hat, hippo, heart, horse, hamburger, uh, a happy face. Uh, maybe you have a friend, Harry, Henry, <gasps> Vera Hank. Maybe Vera, you could make a little picture of Hank on the side next to Hudson. All right, so whatever you want to do. So that's your work for today. Remember, you don't have any centers to do. If you're, uh, if mommy said, well, wait a minute, where's your center work? You can say, nope, Miss Devro said we are done. I did see a couple people making up some other pages. I am super proud of those friends that are doing that. I think that's great. If there's anything that you haven't done, you can make it up. That's a good plan. All right. So let's go take a little break now and let's go with James. Some of you may have watched this video before. Um, we're going to go with James on the pirate ship and we're going to go practice some rhyming words with James. All right. We may have done this back in the beginning of uh, morning meeting as well. But let's go with James and let's go learn a little bit about some rhyming words. Ahoy, James. Ahoy, Captain Devro. Welcome aboard the Safari School Pirate Ship. Today's lesson is all about rhyming. So I'm going to put James' ability to rhyme to the test. Are you ready to get started, James? Aye, aye, Captain. Okay, James. For every word you can correctly rhyme, I'll give you one of my treasure chests full of gold. Does that sound good? Yes, I would love to get a hold of some gold. You are off to a great start, okay? First up, we have this. What is this a picture of? That's a bat. That's correct. Now of these pictures, what does bat rhyme with? The cat, cat rhymes with bat. Very good, James. Here's your first measure of golden treasure. Now, next up in your sight, what is that picture coming from the light? It's a bee. Very good. Very good indeed. Now, which of these pictures rhymes with bee? Tree. Tree rhymes with bee. Correct again. And behold, here's some more gold, James. Now for number three. Can everyone at home help James the monkey? Okay, what picture is this? Very good, everyone. That is a mouse. Now, which of these pictures rhymes with mouse? Yes, it is house. Correct. Terrific job, everyone. Outstanding job, James. Here's your final treasure chest. There's more of the rhyming lesson ahead, mateys. Let's set our mass and return to class. All right, guys, welcome back. That was fun rhyming with James. He did a good job teaching us some cool rhyming words. I like when James talks. All right, so let's do a few rhyming words here. So I'm going to give you a word and I'm going to give you two choices. All right, and you're going to tell me what one it rhymes with. So I have here a spoon. Spoon, moon. Or spoon, hose. Spoon, moon, spoon, hose. You got it. Spoon, moon. 
Spoon, moon, rhyme. Remember, rhyming words are words that have the same ending sound. They end the same. They don't have the beginning, same beginning sound. Moon starts with M, spoon starts with S. But they have that same oom, oom sound at the end. Spoon, moon. Spoon, moon. They rhyme. All right. So now I have corn, a uh, horn, corn, or horn, snail. Horn, corn, horn, snail. You got it. Horn, corn, horn, corn, moon, spoon, horn, corn. All right. Now I have duck, bed, or duck, truck. Duck, bed, or duck, truck. Duck, truck, duck, truck. Duck, truck, duck, truck, duck, truck, moon, spoon, horn, corn. All right, I got tie, goose, or tie, pie. Tie, goose, tie, pie. Tie, pie. Tie, pie. Truck, duck, corn, horn, moon, spoon. All right. The next one is boat, goat, or boat, dog. Boat, goat, boat, dog. What do you think? You got it. Boat, goat. Boat, goat. Good work. Boat, goat. All right, bell, man, or bell, shell, bell, man, or bell, shell, bell, shell, bell, shell, they have that same sound at the end, bell, shell, all right, here we go, drum, Gum or drum B. Drum gum or drum B. <laughs> drum gum. Drum gum. Drum gum. All right. Cake. Goose or cake snake. Cake snake or cake. Cake goose. Cake snake. Cake snake. All right, a few more. All right. Fox B or fox box. Fox B or fox box. Fox box. And what are these words doing? You got it. They are rhyming. They are rhyming. Fox, box. All right. Here we go. Pear, fan, or pear, bear. Pear, fan, or pear, bear. Pear, bear. All right. Last one. Crown, sled, or crown, clown? Crown, clown. Crown, clown. All right, let's review them. Clown, crown. Bear, pear. Fox, box. Cake, snake. Gum, drum. Bell, shell. Boat, whoops. Boat, goat. 
moon, spoon, corn, horn, pie, tie, and truck, duck. Good job, guys. Nice work. Nice work. Good job. What did we do today? We did rhyming. Today we did rhyming. Nice work. Good review with our rhyming. Rhyming words are words that end the same. They end the same. All right. And we'll put our, um, we did M. We have to put M up and we have to put our uh, H up. Our H and our uh, M have to go up on our board over here. We'll glue those up. All right. All right, guys. I want everyone to have a wonderful day. It is, the sun is shining out there. It is a gorgeous day. I want you to get outside. And I want you to get some fresh air. Miss Devereaux keeps looking. There's a little bird. There's a, let me see if I can show you guys. So that's a little baby bird that's right outside my window where I do morning meeting every day. So the mommy was feeding the little birds. So I think they're listening to morning meeting just like you guys. So they made a nest and there's some little birds in there. That's really cute. So that's what Miss Devereaux was looking at up there. I just keep looking up there at that really cute little birds looking out. All right, guys. So I want you to get outside. I want you to get some fresh air. I want you to have an amazing day. I want you to write in your book. Um, H. And I will see everybody tomorrow for why. Why? Miss Devereaux's got to remember to wear some yellow tomorrow. Tomorrow is just yellow day. I couldn't think of anything that went with why. Uh, so if you want to wear some yellow tomorrow, awesome. We'll just talk a little bit about why. And tomorrow I think we're going to review um, maybe some beginning sounds and some ending sounds. We'll see. Who knows? All right, guys. Have a great day. And I'll see everybody tomorrow. Say goodbye, James. Bye, guys.